Welcome inside the Sportsnet Fantasy Hockey Draft Kit. My name is Steve Dangle, and today we're going to be talking about the top five right wingers. Once again, these lists are concocted by Nick Alberga, not me. I feel it's important to say that because of pick number five. Our fifth ranked right winger is Mitch Marner. I'm sorry. Once again, I didn't pick the Leaf. Don't yell at me. Oh, yell at me. You're already doing it. Just go ahead. Let it all out. So listen, when I talk about players, why to pick them, why not to pick them, I, I should point out why not to pick him. If he doesn't have a contract, bit of a red flag. So you just, you watch that, you follow Reporter Chris on Twitter, free JHNIC. You follow all the Sportsnet insiders to keep up to date on Mitch Marner's contract situation because if he's not signed, Maybe go to the next guy. 26 goals, 68 assists, which was the fourth highest amount of assists in the entire NHL. That gave Marner 94 points in a full 82 game NHL season. Like the two Leafs that were in the centers list, John Tavares, only 19 power play points. Austin Matthews, only 20 power play points. Mitch Marner, only 21 power play points last season. Once again, the Leafs have a new guy running their power play this season. Who knows what happens there? I'm just telling you what happened last year, and it wasn't mind-blowing. Although, nice little thing with Mitch Marner, he played a lot of time shorthanded, so if your pool awards shorthanded points, he just might get you some. Number four among right wingers, Miko Rantanen. Another guy who doesn't have a contract at the time I'm shooting this. Come on! But nobody's talking about him, are they? 31 goals, 56 assists, 87 points, in just 74 games. 33 of those 87 points came on the power play. Colorado was lethal last season. He was part of the fabled three-headed monster line that Colorado had, that one-line team that is no longer a one-line team. So does that take some responsibility away? Does that hurt his point total? Or does it unleash the beast? As long as he's playing with Nathan McKinnon and signed to a contract, you want to draft this guy. Number three, David Pasternak. 81 points last season. Oh, so he's not even a point per game. No, he only played 66 games. So at the same time, that is both the reason you want to grab him as fast as possible and a red flag. He was banged up during the regular season, banged up during a long two month playoff run, but still racked up the points. Despite playing in just 66 games, Pasternak scored 38 goals last season, which is a 47 goal pace if he were to play all 82 games. He's gonna flirt with 50 potentially, not to mention 33 points on that lethal Bruins power play. Once again, in just 66 games. If you have faith that he's gonna be a little healthier this season, geez, even if he's not, you're gonna to wanna to scoop up David Pasternak. Our number two ranked right winger is Patrick Kane. He had 44 goals last season, 66 assists for 110 points. For the last three guys, we've been talking about, well, how many games are they gonna play? Are they gonna be healthy? Are they even gonna be signed to a contract? Patrick Kane has missed just one game over the past four seasons. If you need shots, he's got them. Second in the NHL with 341. If you need power play points, He's got him, 30 power play points last season. Chicago was one of the most active teams during the off season, so who knows how that's gonna screw things up. But a lot of the guys they brought back, Chicago is always trying to get the band back together. If your fantasy league is like most others, goals, assists, points, power play goals, shots, Patrick Kane is pretty can't miss. Unless you have a chance to pick our number one ranked right winger, Nikita Kucherov. In our centers video, I was adamant that you have to pick Connor McDavid first overall if you have the chance, which doesn't even sound ridiculous coming out of my face right now. Until you realize that Nikita Kucherov had 128 points last season. 48 of those points came on the power play. How many teams around the NHL had their third highest score get even that many overall points? Your Drew's looking it up right now. See, it was right, the LA Kings, only Dustin Brown and Anze Kopitar had more than 48 points last season. <laughs> Once again, Nikita Kucherov, don't really feel the need to sell this to you, I'm just driving the point home, 128 points. But how many shots did he take? He had 128 points. Get the guy. What are you, nuts? 
So that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends that Kucherov, 128 points, 48 on the power play. Should be illegal. <laughs>